Hello, Scorpio. Elsie here to do a reading for you. Just get one out for the weekend. I hope you are well. And uh, I hope you're looking forward to the weekend. Any holiday parties going on? What y'all doing with your families? Is that stuff starting already? I don't do it because I don't really have any family. I have my son. And we will spend Christmas Day together because he's off from work. So, Scorpio, what are you going to do? Let me know in the comments if you want to. You don't have to. All right. Here we go, Someone Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Tell me about the weekend. This is kind of a single slash, maybe not so single. I don't know. Just a reading for the weekend. I just want to give you more energy for the weekend. Tell me what's the most important thing that Scorpio needs to know for the weekend. Scorpio. Most important thing you need to know is that there's going to be movement. There's going to be movement um, in making some sort of a decision. I want to say um, the Seven of Moons, Moons in this deck, it is the Wandering Moon Tarot. You can get it on Etsy. It's beautiful. Um, and uh, the Seven of Moons is the Seven of Cups. The Moons are Cups. It's, it's uh, Moon Energy, right? So um, I feel like you have a lot of opportunities to move forward. Um, a lot of opportunities. Yeah, so many opportunities that I feel that you can have victory in and it could be things of the heart right it could be things that are of the heart space because we do have of uh, moons here or cups seven of cups though is feeling a little bit overwhelmed because you're not sure what to pick because there's so many good it's like being in the candy store right to get in the candy store you don't know what to pick because it's so good right all of it looks so good you can have victory i feel scorpio with any any of with any of the options that are being uh, offered to you. I feel like there is a an amount of success in all of them. I know that y'all are all into trying to walk away from the karmic connection, but I'm telling you that those connections are going to teach you more than anything. Um, and it feels like no matter what cup you pick, some are love, some are lessons. <laughs> That's what I want to say. But I, I really feel like you are thinking about moving forward with one of those options is what I want to say. You want victory with one of those options. Could be dealing with a cancer when we do have water energy here too right somebody's making a choice to move forward to somebody i feel like you are um, wanting to build some kind of foundation with someone that you maybe have already moved on from that's what i want to say Oh, somebody who possibly lied to you. Okay. So Scorpio, you you might be feeling that someone you're in a relationship with is lying to you. And now you're thinking about your options. So it feels like you pick an option. We have the Ace of Swords, Six of Swords, that's seven. Someone's lying. Someone is either has either is either not showing you who they really are. You and that could also mean that you're very early in a relationship, a new relationship. But somebody here is not showing you the whole picture here they're only feeding you bits and pieces of what they want you to see your person may have walked away from a relationship that that had some kind of stability maybe there was a family or children um maybe this person is someone who was in yeah a family situation or in a place where they lived with someone maybe it's you right take it for how, how it resonates for you the five of swords we've got a lot of swords here <laughs> right there's 12 swords yeah 12 is the number of december for sure there is going to be some changes, I feel, for some of you, Scorpio. If you're in a, in a new relationship, this person, I feel, is someone who's hiding something from you. So it might take a conversation about where are we going from here in order to get that information out of them. This person, it's, it's showing here that they've walked away from some sort of foundational relationship. So they could be someone who is separated and not yet divorced, and they don't have a good um, a good connection with their ex if they're co-parenting those people are fighting all the time is what i want to say there's lots of swords here this person likes to fight with words you or them pick it it's up to you 
Somebody here likes to fight with words. And um, they're the kind of person who won't really talk about it. You're the person who talks about it, Scorpio. But this person is the person who doesn't really talk about it. They argue and then they leave. It's a pattern. They argue and then they leave. We've got the five of stars. Stars in this deck are pentacles. So you've got the five of pentacles. Yeah. So this person is not someone who has a very good relationship or uh, a relationship in the past. It feels to me from the four of wands, it feels like there's kids involved, that somebody has just walked away. But I don't know if it's their kids or not. They may have been in on a relationship where they were a step parent, right? We don't even know if those are their kids. But the five of stars tells me that somebody here is in lack here. There's a big change. Somebody walks away or moves away here. Um, because of there's codependent energies here. The full moon uh, has just passed us. It feels like somebody has had a shift of energy. And I was talking about this, I think in the Taurus reading, that it was, it, I, it's the shift of energy for me as a Pisces moon is a very apparent shift in energy. So if you're feeling that shift of energy as well, like something's weird or something just dislodged itself is what I want to say. Something that had been stuck for a while has become dislodged now. And um, the five of pentacles tells me that I feel like you leave this person out in the cold, the person that if you're in a new relationship that you actually end up breaking up with them because they're very codependent. And I think it's a realization that you've come to at the full moon, the one that we just had in Gemini. And that's kind of, you know, Mars is in retrograde making us think about our relationships and all of a sudden the full moon comes, right? So I feel like you were thinking about this already, about how codependent possibly this relationship has become and it's time to get out. What are your other options? There's a seven of swords, right? And we said here, the six and one is seven. So I feel like your other options, um, there is somebody who's quite popular or someone who is well known, someone who people like to watch. Six of wands is here. Someone who has the respect of, of their peers. Someone who, who doesn't only have the, the respect of their peers, someone who's very attractive, but someone who also deals in matters of the heart. They uh, also have the... Um, an emotional connection with their peers is what I want to say. Uh, the Seven of Swords is here to say um, with the Nine of Swords in the reverse. It feels like somebody's woken up is what I want to say. Someone now realizes, looking at it closer, that somebody was lying, that maybe they could have been wearing a false mask or maybe they have some ego. Six of Wands is about ego as well. So there could be somebody here who is... Um, who's no longer scared to face the truth. I think that's you, Scorpio. You're no longer scared to face the truth. Um, that there probably is someone else. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. And we have a King of Stars. I feel like you've been watching someone. Yeah, or investigating someone. Someone who may have offered you a cup. They're still holding that cup, I feel. There's three cups here, right? So you, they may be part of your love tribe or they may be um, someone you want to have a, reu a reuniting experience with. But I feel like either you're still holding the cup or they are. One of you is, we've got the Page of Swords. Somebody has been watching the other person or has been sort of learning about them, investigating. Somebody's also here learning about money issues, I think. King of Wands and the King of Swords. Wow. Okay. I think you want to move forward really quickly to talk to this person about being up in your head and not being able to say anything about it. Yeah, you've had an ending here. Okay, so I think it's inevitable ending is what I want to say that you realize that the person that you're with is not your person. The person who's not for the long term anyway, because they're quite codependent, they can't make up their own mind. Um, I feel like it's something that you've gotten in clarity after the full moon happened here, or maybe the 1212 portal, but we have the five of wands in reverse. I feel like you're no longer beating yourself up about ending it. Yeah, so I feel like it inevitably comes to an end and you level up because um, you uh, know that there's love out there for you. Yeah, there is. Knight of Moons, right? Knight of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. Yeah, there's a soulmate out there for you. Two of Stars, but you don't believe it. Three of Swords. You're still in broken heart mode here. Two of Swords. You need to make a decision. Here comes the Tower because you can't make it. But the Tower does bring you 
um, balance. It's a moment of alchemy. It's a poke on the shoulder, letting you know that you're going the wrong way if you get to the tower, is what I mean. If you decide to do what you're going to do, um, end this thing. I feel like the world card is here. It's a karmic lesson. It's a, it's a rounding up of things, going back round. I feel like the Empress tells me that you do level up after this situation. I just want to say that I think that the connection that you're in, you're going to find out is quite codependent, and I don't think you want to carry that. I think you're going to try and have a conversation, which is going to result in this person walking away from you. All right. Sorry to give you that kind of read. <laughs> Scorpio, that's not really what I thought it was going to be, to be honest. But I feel like, yeah, there is something that you need to end uh, so you can move forward because this person is not your person. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. I'm going to go for now. I love you guys. Be careful. Don't take don't take this at face value, please. Um, make good choices, the choices that are good for your life. And um, yeah, if you need a personal reading, please look below. You can uh, get a personal reading uh, for me from for, for $40 if you have a question. And um yeah, before you make any big decisions about leaving somebody because some lady on the internet said so. All right, I'm going to go for now. <laughs> I'm going to go. Thank you, Scorpio. I'm out. Bye-bye.